That was amazing to watch. It was old school, wasn't it? It was. He was he was really in form. But of course, Jason uh, mounted his charge as he often does. Great match here. USA up 3-2 on the points. And Shane just steals it for America. Gets that first break on the board. This is going to be a pivotal match, I think. Shot on the one ball there. Gonna have to play a push out. Let's take another look at that. Read that four ball, five ball into the corner pocket. Looks like he might be looking at kicking two rails behind the one. Yeah, and I a like stick that shot. right there. I like that shot because the one ball is quite close to the rail. Should be quite easy to execute. <laughs> Looks like we're up for another safety shot here. Possibly a cross bank by Filler. about these two players if they, they've got that all-round game we're gonna see some great shot making some great tactical play Shane has been a staple of this team for many years I believe it's his 16th year at the Moscone Cup which is absolutely incredible Station, please. Let's see a two to three rail kick hit, uh, clip off the right side, left side of the one ball. Just try and get behind the two possibly. Oh no, he's checked it up. Nice shot, nice play. Bit of a nip tuck so far. Yeah, they're not, the thing is in these conditions too, maybe the two and three rails are a little dangerous to play for the feeling of the cloth because it's quite slippery. So the less movement of the balls may be the better here. Good speed here from Filler. Yeah, we're used to seeing Josh just run out, aren't we? <laughs> but Shane is containing him here, which is what he needs to do. He's one of the greatest shot makers in the game is Joshua. Going upstairs. This is a little tester, this shot, isn't it? Bit of a tester, filler with the first opportunity to draw blood. Yeah. Wow, that was an incredible shot to start off. That's, that's such a tough shot to play and he makes him look so easy. Cueing from the rail, great shot maker. No problem balls here in this rack for him, so nothing phases him. He has an incredible pace just floating around the table. Nice to watch, hard to copy. <laughs> Of course, it's come from hours and hours and hours and hours of practice and dedication to the sport. All of these players have put in over the years.
Joshua was very much born to do this. He always stays down. I love the way he stays down. He never takes anything for granted. His fundamentals even, are wild. Yeah. yeah, even at the pace that he plays at, nothing is taken for granted. He really holds position after the shot. Nicely navigated there from Filler on the board, 1-0. Filler to break, next rack too, and he's been very dangerous yesterday when he played Skylar Woodward. He broke and ran three racks, even though he lost that match. Um, his standard of play is very good, so I'm expecting some good breaks here. Shane has definitely got his work cut out here. So experienced, though. Look at Shane, though. He's very calm, relaxed. Got that world championship. Five U.S. Opens, I believe. Incredible amount of just international. You know yourself, Allison. When you've been there under the gun so many times in huge moments, it, it just it is what it is. It's almost second nature to this guy at this point. But the Moscone does have its own pressure that I suppose is irreplaceable throughout the year. Yeah, it's a special vibe here. The, the feeling from the crowd is palpable. They love it, they love their pool, the, the patriotism for their team. But what I love about the US crowd is their respect for the players. They love Paul, they know what's happening, and they're very, very respectful. It's a pleasure to be here. Right, number two. Our score is See what filler has on the break. Goes with the cut break back and forth. One just misses. Comes up dry. What a look for Shane Allison. Wow, that's surprising. And like I was saying yesterday, he had that break dialed in. Today, not so much. And it's very important, you know, race to five is cutthroat. So every rack, every ball is so important. Touch of inside. Yeah, I shouldn't. There's no problems here in this rack. It's just a case of getting your position right, stay on the right side of the ball. Just what Shane needs right now, just to get his arm moving. He left himself a little impeded here by that six ball. Extension, please. Perhaps he's between drawing into the purple five or trying to come to the rail and out. Overcooked it a bit. He's got every shot in the repertoire here, hasn't he? Over a hundred titles to his name, professional titles. He had an amazing career, still going strong. As he played, he's just gonna stun into that rail here, make the green six ball down the rail, out for the brown seven ball, into the corner. Overcooking it a little bit. Such, at the moment, a, isn't such he? a pure stroke. Sometimes he just taps it and and off he goes. A little bit of a tester on the tight box. Yes. That was a great play. Great shot. Nice recovery. This is truly a stroke of the gods, Shane. Yeah, this so is years. He, he works harder than anyone, I think, out there. 
always on the table. This crowd going wild here. Seeing the South Dakota kid tie it up at one to one. John Lehman handed over the ball to Shane. Let's see what Shane can pull off here. If he's made any changes since that last break. It's interesting to watch the approaches to the break. It looks like he's been going with the cup break back and forth. That nine ball moving towards the corner pocket. So is the eight. Nice look for filler here, Allison. Yeah, do you think he's going to try that 1 9 carom, possibly? Maybe the carom. Looks pretty it's, natural. It's so tempting here because we've got the 8 ball hanging, the 9 ball hanging. Yeah, not too bad there. Wow. <laughs> Look at that cue ball hanging on the co corner of the pocket. He's a bit of a gangster filler, you know? Yeah. Wow. Shane needs to figure something out here, doesn't he, for that break? Certainly does. 2-1 filler. He'll be going to a short break momentarily. You don't want to go anywhere. Have one more look at it. Stuns into the nine beautifully. Hit it so full in the face. And of course, the nine ball precariously close to dropping in. The cue ball, rather, but does just sit up in the pocket. And he made the eight for dessert, Allison. <laughs> a little fortunate there that cue ball didn't go in. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful sight. Really good look at how tight the pocket is, too. No, not a lot of room beyond that cue ball. Stay close. More Moscone coming up.
Welcome back. Watch the cue ball. And there it is, Allison. Can't fake that look, can you? <laughs> They're having the time of their lives, I think, out there. I think the pressure came off a little bit with Jason winning that last match against Dylan hey. Kitchen. Still a lot of work ahead for the Europeans. We've had two dry breaks, haven't we, from Shane? Perhaps another here from Phil. Watch the cue ball and the crowd goes nuts. The pink four and purple five sort of congealing on this bottom right rail. Definitely poses a problem unless he can break it up. Or if not, there would be a good safety there. Create the momentum, don't you, by winning a game, and then you just give the ball straight back to the opponent. It's hard for him, for Shane, to get from the three into the four and five to break them up. Six ball could pose a problem unless he can bend it around it. Right, with a, a high ball stroke. It's possible on this, especially with this claw. Bit of speed too, right? Yeah. To sort of keep it on the tangent line a little bit longer. Does the purple five squeeze past the nine, Allison? Can you tell? Not quite sure from my angle, but the way Shane is walking around, it, it probably does. See, he didn't hesitate when he was looking, did he, earlier? But if not, if it doesn't, he's got a great safety play behind the nine. Right. So either way. That's a nice lock-up safety there, isn't it? It takes away the side rail, which is what you always want to do, take away that easy one rail hit. Yeah, that's a great point. Seemingly has to go two rails yonder beyond the seven. Perhaps even three. Yeah, and uh, even with that two rail hit, it's kind of tricky on here because of the way the balls slide off the rail. But we have the greatest players in the world out here who are spectacular at the tactical games and getting out of situations. It seems like he has left him that room. Didn't look like it. Wow, is that a thing cut to Shane? I think so. He just kissed it on the wrong side there. Safety definitely paid off and gives Shane the opportunity to make it two to two from going into the next round. It seems to have speeded up today, I think, the table. Over that hoary, he's hitting it a little hard. <laughs> yeah, you, me you mentioned that yesterday, though, that the tables tend to change a bit over the week. Is that right? Absolutely. We're going to see different play every day, I think, with this arena. Temperature changes. The crowd being in here has an effect. The lighting over the table tends to speed it up more. And this is where you see the great players adapt to the conditions. 
is one of the greatest of all time. Sure is. Back to you, Arch. That was beautiful. What a lovely execution of the shot there. Great player. And I don't think he's ever won MVP. Two. Just what the doctor ordered, I think. Nobody really dominating at the moment. Giving each other a couple of chances here and there. Nice to see those two talking. I know how influenced Shane's been from Earl. He talks about that amongst many others. You can see a lot of great players. He has a lot of respect. Yeah, a yeah. lot of respect. I mean, Earl's a great champion in his own right. He, he dominated Paul for many years and one of the greatest shot makers of all time. The only problem with Earl is he's got in his own head over time, isn't he? He's, he's, people love to watch him play, but they also don't know about the antics that are going to come up. You never know. He's a little unpredictable, but I loved his demeanor in the last match. He handled the shot clock well. He took his time. It was really some nice old time Agreed. Earl, I think. You see Alex, Lay Alex Laley leaving the arena. He's the captain for Europe. He had his work cut out this morning, obviously with a deficit, three to one. I think there was a little tension in the European room this morning. SVB set to break. Let's see if he can find something. Perhaps it's him a little more flush and, and harder, Allison, or does he keep going with the back and forth cut break? Well, it's not working what he's been doing, so I think a bit more speed. And you're correct there. He just put more speed on that. We could see that. But the balls haven't opened up like they have been doing. They've Little all... wry smile from <laughs> yeah, Shane there. They've, they've all kind of congregated to this bottom corner pocket. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Obviously, we're going into a tactical battle. Of which both these guys are very well equipped. Filler and Shane kick great, bank great, play great safeties. Play the right shots. It's actually lovely to see the side of the game too. It's important that the players always call that push out. Of course, we saw Skylar Woodward not doing that one year, and uh, it's so frustrating. You get caught up in the tension and the adrenaline. And see that Joshua doesn't like what Shane left and has put Shane back in to shoot, which is his option after a push out. What do you see here, Alison? Well, tricky. He, he might be looking at playing the two off of the four, sending the two back towards the end of this table and the cue ball down table. Way he, was he was looking at how the two is going to hit into that pink four ball. Work out as intended there. I think he tried to play the shot you said and kept an eye on the cue ball, stopped it right there, but perhaps hit the wrong side of the pink four. Nice look for Filler to get going. He tends to do in relatively short order. Good speed here. like about him. He's so compact, isn't he? He looks so compact. Very compact. Hits the ball is seemingly so soft and does so much with the cue ball. Just something about a lefty, you know, southpaw. So nice to watch. Yeah. And uh, Joshua is having a great year too. He won the UK Open. The World Games gold medal for Germany and the World Pool Masters 
amazing the amount of titles he's been winning. And he's only 25 years of age. I believe he has his parents out in the audience watching, along with his wife, Pia, who's a female player on tour too, so they both play competitively. Took him a little while to get comfortable there, Allison. But with that 9-3-2 filler, teams are coming out for a little chat. It's interesting that to know what's the right thing to do in that situation, whether to, I liked in the last match where we saw only Shane coming out to talk with Earl and let Earl air what he wanted to say and listen to him and give him a little bit of advice. And every player is different in that regard, but you, you tend to see more of the players on Team Europe coming out. So I'm not sure you know what the balance should be there but yeah it's an interesting observation i think less better because it's like to me it's a little bit of too many cooks in the kitchen you know you're going to get different points of view of what you should be doing it depends what's being said but uh, my preference would be to have the captains come out but then they're all involved in this together and uh, the, the fight is between them all and Jason's looking a little more relaxed since he's getting that point under his belt. Yeah. <laughs> it was very tense for a while. Again, that one ball not going in the side pocket. A big this. opportunity for Shane here. Wow. It's just back and forth this match on the breaks. Nobody's really dominating that break yet. Went high there. One ball went above the side pocket. Giving Shane an opportunity. That was a nice shot. Oh, wasn't it? really nice. Really pretty yeah. shot. You know, where you cut the one in the side thin and used the brown seven ball as a, to slow the cue ball down. Perfect carom there into that. As you can see, he's got this two into the corner. You have to be careful with half a pocket on these four inch, some odd corners. And then does he choose to move a six out the way or play down for the three six combo? There we go. Nicely played. Just to keep a bit of an eye on position, Allison. Yeah, you've got to be careful to control the, the second ball here, meaning the three ball, the red three ball. It's one thing making the shot that's over the pocket. which is the easy part, but then the control of the second ball is the tougher part. Yeah. White tell from here, it doesn't look like he has a look at it from our viewpoint, but maybe he can twist it in. Yeah, it's not the angle he wanted, is it? It's a tough shot, especially using the bridge. Good thing is the, the pink four ball is sitting in the corner, so all he has to do really is just try to pocket it. Make the ball. And get the bridge out of the way as well. Yeah. And he's undercooked it. Wow, that's frustrating for him, I'm sure. It's rare you see him uh, misplace that combo that he played. You know, it's rare you see him get the wrong side and have a tough shot like that. I look at this one. It has to snatch the bridge out of the way quickly to not foul, of course. Yeah, I think that was the focus there. Wasn't it? <laughs> Quite close to the rail here. I think he can get his cue in there by that side pocket. 
Made it a little more difficult. navigates this, yeah. A little more difficult. <laughs> What's your preference on a shot like this positionally? I think to go to to rail this into the, I, I would stun it. My preference would be to stun it across, crisscross, and try and get the cue ball out into the centre. It's hard to tell how deep that pink four ball is into that corner pocket. He might go inside English. It's really just, yeah, he's he's digging down. I think that's the way to go. So two rails. There you go. Perfect. Really good. <laughs> now he can. He's the right side to play down below the brown seven, maybe into the side pocket. Does tickle the corner, bobbling it, and touches the eight, but looks like he's come out okay, albeit a hair steep. I think I like that about Joshua. He doesn't really sort of stop and think, oh, it's a good shot. He just carries it. Look out. Wow! Look out. Oh, so unexpected. I've never seen mistakes like that from Joshua, so Shane has got ball in hand on the eight. Big, big game to make it three to three. Shocking. A, a little bit shocking. No, by the way, when Shane had gone in there, he did his warm up routine. He didn't take anything for granted. The crowd goes nuts. Three, three. All tied up. What a match. As Earl and Sky talk to Shane, Shirley Joshua is talking to the European contingent. It's all tied up, 3-3. Stay close.
Well, here's another look at it. Allison. Unbelievable. Cannot believe he made that mistake. He didn't quite get where he wanted on the seven, but that is so unusual. What a blessing for Shane Van Boning coming back to the table to make it three to three. And here's Rack four, one, two across. Tickles off the nine. That one was a hair unlucky, unlike the former. We just came right off the nine. The look of disgust. Three three here in the desert. Shane set to break. Wow, he is struggling to make that ball, isn't he? He's known for one of the best breaks in the game, Shane. Both of them, yeah. It, it's cool to see the table breaking dry in a way. Yeah, and how players adapt to make it better as the match goes on. But so far, not really many corrections there. And I believe Joshua get through to that one, one ball, that yellow one ball in the corner. It looks like the three's in the way, but I'm not 100% sure anymore. He's pushing out. Well, that was an interesting push where he's tied up the two ball there. Tactical play. Um, but he's left uh, Shane an easy kick shot. He's opting to go two rails to hold the cue ball up there in the corner. Oh, and he holds it nicely. It's the point. Always a danger with that shot is that point there. You can either make it hit the point or go safe. I don't think he's going to like this, Allison. Well, the thing is, he's got an easy kick shot here to make the one ball into the corner but obviously the two's tied up so he's got to focus on where he where he wants that cue ball to be oh no he, it looks like he can directly hit it I thought actually the six from a certain angles in the way I think he has to kick at it but he either does, way okay. filler will be displeased with that effort very much so Where is that cue ball going? That's the question. He's, he's a little bit all over the place at the moment, Shane, isn't he, with his break and the speed of the cloth? He's not quite there, not his usual self. Still, he doesn't let anything phase him, he just gets on with a job in hand. You can see he's shaking his head, very disappointed. Something of a kick bank, go up table. Kind of a two-way shot. I think here. so. I think he's trying to play off the side of the two. Send the cue ball up table. Didn't hit that how he wanted. Did not hit that how he wanted. He's let Filler back in. Very disappointed. So whereas. Joshua oh, my oh my word. This is one thing after another. Isn't it? This is unbelievable. I yeah, can't... it's been a sloppy match. Yeah. Shocking that he caught that. Absolutely shocking. He's got the jump cue out. The crowd's going nuts. Billy Thorpe is out there, no shirt on in the overalls, going insane. I see that. He's he's winding this crowd right up and uh, rightly so. Him down. Great angle here. Yeah, it's not too bad there, Allison. That's a terrific. Another point. tester, though. Yeah. Do you favor a high ball on this upcoming pink four ball, or, or do you like to kind of jack up and stun it a bit? I think it's. Uh, you see this angle. I think he's got a high ball. Didn't he? Oh, good lord! He played that so well. What a great shot. He just makes it look so easy, as we've said before. Up a bit short there. Go for the bank? I think so. 
Oh, the six must go. Yeah. Now we can see it goes by that eight ball. And he had a bit more angle than we thought. I thought it was more straight in than that. See, that's the beauty, I think. When you see these great players, I mean, he got himself in trouble there. But he just went straight to the chair, got his jump cue, carried on. No, I, I mean, the three and the four were ridiculous. The yeah. three, okay, but the four was really just so kind of that little half stroke. This is what makes him a great champion, isn't it? The way he handles himself. There is 4 3 filler. I did notice actually in the break that he left the arena filler and was sitting with his teammates, whereas Shane stayed in the arena. It's quite interesting where your comfort zone is, isn't it? His teammates out there. Alex is staying, you know, back and just letting the team do the work as far as being in the arena, isn't he? Bell's always right by Shane's side. You know, El was the one who invented that extra length from the stick. And another, yeah, a pioneer indeed. Another look at that jump shot. And then this shot on the pink four was absurd as that well. That was the shot of the game, wasn't it? The yeah. shot on the, the pink four. Yeah, look at how tough it is here to just follow the round. Yeah. It's a lesson in execution, isn't it? What length cue do you play with, Allison? I use a 56-inch cue because I'm only five feet four. So there you go. That suits me. They both have very little success on the break. We see Filler kind of pumping himself up before the break. There's a look at, I mean, strong. Yeah, <laughs> there's Billy Thorpe. Former member of the Moscone Cup team in years gone by. He does find the one in the side, Filler. Position on the two, a little bit tricky for a lefty, but he looks okay here, Allison. Yeah, he's uh, the hard work there was making that one in the side, which they haven't been doing, and he's got a nice shot, the two ball here. Shouldn't pose any problems. This is the shot, isn't it? Make this shot. Should be out. He has to go behind the back, or maybe extension, or he can just reach it. He's fine. Where's that cue ball going? Where is that oh cue ball going? <laughs> the drama. Wow. So unexpected. Just kisses that six ball, that green six ball, and lands behind the eight ball. The way he's lining it up, he's trying to kick it in the side. Yeah, he's got to go for this. Easy to hit, of course, it's the control of the balls, but you've got to be 100%. Wow. But a little fortunate there, didn't he? I would Very say. Very fortunate. Cue ball could have easily dropped in the corner pocket there. Or the three ball could have run past the side. But uh, that's what this Moscone Cup's all about. Little rolls here and there that change the game scores and then the match scores. Tough shot here. Cuts it badly. A little lucky, maybe. Yeah, but whether the three is, it's not hard for Joshua. Yeah. Even if he, can, I think he can get through. But even if he couldn't, it's an easy jump for these players. Yeah. Look at the cue power there. It's perfect. Such a massive point here. USA up 3-2 the overall. I don't 
think I think Shane looks a bit out of sorts. I don't think he's nervous. I think it's just not quite engaged. Nothing's really allowed him to flow, has it? Yeah, it's been every time he, he gets going, something kind of weird has happened this match. The same with Joshua, but he seems to have potted his way out of trouble. You know, a little bit of run here and there. He played yeah, that's exactly right. He yeah. whipped himself on the three and then just yeah. came with it. He's out anyway. Yeah, it's been a strange match. Not what I was expecting in this particular match. I was expecting fireworks, break and runs, break and runs. But we've seen a more tactical side and a lot of errors, unforced errors. That's the difference of team competition versus individual competition too, I think. There's that little extra weight, isn't there, the team. The European fans erupt. There you have it. The teammates are coming out. Joshua Filler winning that match. Team Europe looking a little bit more comfortable.